Hi, today we are going to be making homemade syrups and a tea recipe from the 12th century Andalusian cookbook. The first recipe is going to be a lemon and honey syrup. Next step is to add your four ounces of lemon juice into 32 ounces of water on a large in a large pot. You're going to bring the lemon juice and water to a boil. Once it's boiling, you're going to boil it until it's reduced about halfway to about 16 ounces. Once it's reduced to 16 ounces, you're going to go ahead and take it off, and we'll add the honey in, and that'll be the next step. So I just took the lemon juice and boiling water off. I poured it into this jar. I'm gonna add this honey in and I'm gonna stir it. I've got my honey all in there. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it to combine it. Um, the stuff at the bottom is going to be the stuff from the lemon. It's the pulp from the lemon. I didn't strain it. But, um, yeah. So, this is going to be your lemon and honey syrup. What you're going to do now is you're going to put the lid on it and you're going to close it. And you're going to store it into your refrigerator for up to one month. This second recipe is going to be lemon and honey syrup with cayenne pepper. So this syrup is the lemon honey syrup with cayenne pepper. I went ahead and added the lemon juice and the water in here and the cayenne pepper. Right now it's boiling. Um, I'm gonna let it boil to about halfway, so I'm gonna reduce it. Once it's reduced, I'm gonna take it off and we're gonna add the honey. This is the lemon and honey syrup with cayenne pepper. I did boil the lemon juice and the cayenne pepper with the water. I reduced it halfway and I took it off the stove and I did go ahead and add the honey because it is hard to video and pour the honey at the same time. But this is what this one looks like. This one you can also put a lid on and you can store it to your refrigerator to one month and it's good in teas and um, you can add it to just like anything in the morning and it'll soothe your, your throat. This third syrup recipe is going to be a honey and clove syrup that's really good for your throat. honey and clove syrup. I boiled the water with the cloves inside of it and I reduced it about halfway. I took it off the heat. I put it in this jar and I did add the honey because it is hard to again pour. Um, and then I left the cloves in there just to keep it settled. This is a lighter bit of honey or a lighter bit of syrup because there's not as much honey in this one and um the cloves kind of just make it a little bit spicy but they are really good for a sore throat so this one you can also put a lid on as well you can put a lid on this and you can store it up into the refrigerator for up to one month this one final recipe is gonna be a tea. I'm gonna go ahead and add some honey in, um, some lemon juice, and I'm gonna make it a little floral. So I added some rose petals. I'm gonna go ahead and add the lemon juice right now. And this is gonna be the syrup for our tea actually because I added the honey in already and the rose petals are kind of just gonna give it that sense of like herby feel and it's just gonna smell really good. The lemon juice is in here. It's gonna um, add that citrusy flavor to your tea. So once this boils down a little bit, um, I'm gonna get a bag of tea and a cup and I'm gonna pour this in there and it's gonna boil and I'll show you the finished product in just a second.
Okay, for this one, I went ahead and used a black tea bag. Um, I just put it in the jar and then I poured my syrup of water, lemon juice, and honey that I boiled on the stove. I poured it in here. I went ahead and kept it, um, one of the flower petals in there just for, you know, the look. Um, what you're going to do now is just going to put the lid on it and let the tea bag sit. And it's going to turn into a beautiful brown color and you'll be able to drink it. Today I made these syrups because they are a way to soothe sore throats and provide some relief for coughs. Honey in syrups provides a way to preserve the healing qualities of all of the herbs. I also use honey because it soothes an irritated throat, the cloves dull the pain, and the lemon reduces inflammation and delivers a dose of infection-fighting vitamin C. The red paper from the cayenne um, promotes circulation in your throat, which helps the healing process of any um, bad tissues in your throat. Thank you for all watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it.